One of the best things that I did in my life was remove myself from the crowd. Always having to be in every club, always having to be in every event, always having to be at every barbecue, always having to be at every house party, always having to be out in the streets, out in the elements, just always, always, always on the go. Fast paced life. So much so to where, like, I literally had no clue of who I was. I had no idea of my identity. I had no idea that I was moving all this time backwards. Bass backwards, you know what I'm saying, for better terms on YouTube. So all this time I'm moving around in life and I'm like, you know, I'm going to every party, I'm at every event and I'm just, you know what I'm saying, like, I knew I was a fly guy, but I wasn't like a conceited individual, you know, I just, you know, at the time, you know, I'm just moving how I'm moving. Somewhat reckless, you know what I'm saying, but not really reckless. I wasn't moving too crazy, but somewhat crazy. Basically, I had no, I was just following the crowd. I was just following what everybody else was doing, thinking this was me. Thinking this was me, just following everybody else, but I never took time out to figure out who I was or even know that I didn't even know who I was. So the best thing that I ever did in my life was sit myself down. That was the best thing I ever did was sit myself down. And I understand to a degree why um, those were some challenges because of my upbringing and things that I brought up in the past and um, I may bring some of it up in the future um, Right now, I don't want to necessarily uh, stick to that topic We have a whole different reason and purpose for this video as you can see by the title of the video But um, I'll talk to you guys about that So to some degree, I understand um, why it was challenging for me I understand why I didn't see the light until I had to pretty much go down the road and travel it and figure it out myself Before we get into this video, again, y'all see the title of the video and um, we're going to get to that, but if you're new to my channel, new to my face, new to the squad, always know it's a positive community. So if you're positive, it's good vibes, positive vibes only. If you're positive and you like positive content, fitness, vlogs, and things of that nature, subscribe to the channel, lock in, turn on your post notifications. That way every single time we drop lit content, you guys will always be first on the scene to see what it is that we do. But I just, you know, I like to reflect on life. I'm the type of person that I like to just always try to figure out how I can grow. Sometimes I look back, not to look back to, you know, feel sorry for myself when it comes to some of the things that I went through, but to, you know, look at the distance traveled and I look ahead to see um, how I can improve and get better and things of that nature. And a lot of the time, like you guys are getting a chance to see my growth. You, you guys get to see my pain. You guys get to see everything that I go through, you know, my struggles, everything that I go through, I share it here on my platform. Not always in the past, but more so now because these days I don't care. And also I move with a purpose. So like I said, the best thing I did was sit myself down and figure myself out. And it's just like, let's just say you're out of shape, right? Let's just say you're out of shape and you like you know you're out of shape, but you really don't know how unconditioned you are until you got to run up the block, until you got to run around and lap. Like, you don't know how bad it is until you actually challenge yourself. And literally, getting outside, getting outdoors, running around in circles and running around the block, running around the track will tell you how out of shape you are. Do some burpees. You know what I'm saying? Do some burpees. It will test your cardiovascular like no other thing. And it's the same way when it comes to um, learning who you are in life. Like, just always involving myself and associating myself, just staying busy, not realizing the importance of taking time out for yourself. I had no idea what none of that was. My life was a mess. And I forced myself, you know, um, certain situations kind of like put me in a position to look at life in that manner. But I'm glad that those things happened. I'm glad that it took for this to happen in order for me to realize I don't want to continue to keep going down this path. Let me sit myself down. Let me figure it out. And so along my travels, you know, when you like for me, when I was trying to figure out what my life was supposed to be and things of that nature, everybody's always pitching ideas and, you know, based off of what they think they see you doing. So for me, it's if someone see that I'm, they think I'm good at this, they'll be like, you, you should do this with your life or you should do that with your life. The thing about that is that is one critical thing that's crucial when it comes to your life is um, making decisions based off of someone else telling you like this is where you need to go or this is what you need to do that's one of the biggest mistakes I've made that mistake again not knowing what my life was not know oh you think I should be doing this so I would just take that advice but then when I would actually do it I would realize that's not me that's not what I enjoy that's not what I like let me bring it back in um sit myself down bro it took a lot like I was a mess it was like a room and I was a mess and I was actually able to see how messed up everything was in my home internally 
and I had some organizing to do and I had no idea how to organize you know again growing up the infrastructure was toxic so I had no idea of what it looked like or how to actually take the course of action the right course of action to actually uh, you know fix things internally just keeping it real with y'all so I had a lot of work to do and I had to sit myself down and I had to basically isolate myself for a very long time which was the best thing that I could have did because the outside noise was no longer getting to me the outside noise was no longer a distraction. I was no longer attracted to the outside noise, going to the clubs, the parties. Um, I was no longer attracted to that lifestyle. I wanted to live a, a different lifestyle. I wanted to get a chance to know, know who I am, learn who I am. And I had some work to do. And um, lo and behold, I still got work to do because, you know, if you're still alive, life you know, is never where you're going to figure it all out. It's continued evolution. You're always going to be trying to figure out your today. Like what is the purpose and what is the mission for today as we are constantly evolving. But it took me a long time to get to this place where I can literally look around my crib internally and see how better organized it is if it makes sense. And it took some time and experiences and some fumbles and some mistakes and a ton more mistakes and then more mistakes after that and then even more mistakes and then after getting tired of making mistakes, you start learning in the process of all the mistakes that you make. You start figuring out, this don't go here. Obviously, it don't fit. So let me try here. And then things will just start to kind of come to you, at least for me. And then you'll start make, getting a better sense of what life is and who you are and the things you like as you take steps forward. You know what I'm saying? You start grab like it'll just start coming together the moment that you challenge yourself, the moment that you continue to keep stepping forward, the moment that you just accept the fact that I'm not giving up, taking no for an answer is just not it. I'm going to figure it out. And the more that I started seeing some success, it started to muster up some drive, especially when I started to make small accomplishments and I started to see results from certain things. And then I said, you know what? I'm curious to see how much I can grow in life. I'm curious to see what I can become. The more that I walk into myself, the more that I'm learning of myself, I'm starting to like what I see. I'm starting to like who I'm becoming. I am creating this masterpiece. I'm listening to the master um, up above and I'm following him and I'm following my intuition and I'm just pretty much, man, now I'm in control of my life. I'm not letting anybody else dictate my life. I'm making decisions on my own. So let's fast forward. I grew to a point like... Now people are pitching ideas, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. At a certain point, I stopped listening to even the people that was telling me I need to do this based off of their perception of me, and I started doing more of the things that I wanted to do. No matter how awkward it may have seemed, um, no matter how different it was from what everybody else was doing, picking up a camera, like, you know, it's awkward, you're not going to see everybody walking down the street with a camera in their hand, but I had this certain vision for me. Um, that I wanted to do this and it was for a bigger picture, it was for a bigger purpose. And the reality is one time I set it down because I was thinking, I set the camera down because I was thinking, man, who, like, can I really do this? Like, and so I set it down and then I went back to listening to what people were saying and then it just not, it just didn't sit right in me, it didn't feel right. It felt like I was living in someone else's shoes when I got shoes of my own to be filled. And again, it was a learning moment. And in that lesson, I decided to put my own shoes on. And I decided to walk. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I decided to walk in confidence, being myself. And I said, I don't care going forward. I don't care what anybody think. If this is what I like, this is what I'm going to do. If YouTube is what I like, YouTube is what I'm going to do. If working out is what I like, then working out is what I'm going to do. If training is what I like, then training is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? If reading is what I like, reading is what I'm going to do. If Trying to get better is what I like, then trying to get better is what I'm going to do. Trying to improve as a person. If that's what I like, then that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to worry about what anybody think. And I'm pretty much just going to devote to laying a brick every single day until the vision that I have inside is built. And so I'm glad that I stopped listening to what other people said because I would not be right now. You know what I'm saying? This is just an example. I would not be celebrating 2,000 subscribers. I would not be celebrating 2,000 subscribers if I would have listened to the outside noise. If I did not sit down and figure out my foundation, lay my brick every single day, and just trust the process, we wouldn't be here. Even though, like I said, we got room to grow. This is small in my opinion when it comes to the ideas and the vision that I have. But this still is a testament of growth. It's a testament of hard work. It's a testament that you guys have faith in me. 
is a testament that you guys get the picture. And it's bigger than me. Everything that I do is not really about me. Like, I'm going to work out. I'm going to train. But my goal is to influence and encourage someone out there who may struggle and just need a little bit of assistance, need some positivity, need to feel good, or need some fitness tips, or just going through life and just need some motivation, some inspiration. Um, just need a friend. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I look at you guys as family. So we're more than friends, but I always just want to leave something positive here on my channel every single time. So again, even though I'm celebrating 2K um, when it comes to my channel, I have you guys to thank because I could not do it without you guys. I can't do it myself. I can't subscribe to myself. You guys, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who believe in the vision, who believe in what it is that we're doing. And you guys help me stay driven. I'm already a self-motivated individual, but you guys add more fuel to my drive. So I promise y'all we're going to continue to keep turning up when it comes to these videos. I promise y'all I'm going to always have you guys in my thoughts every single time, every day I wake up. I'm always going to be considering um, you guys when it comes to my content and basically continuously, constantly try to find ways to improve. I'm not a perfect person, so please, I hope you guys do not, don't have the expectations of thinking that I'm a perfect individual because I'm going to let you guys know, um, hopefully I don't let anybody down, but I confess I am not a perfect individual, but I am a trying individual and I put my best foot forward every chance that I get and hopefully you guys can, you know, be alright with that. But if you're not okay with that, it is what it is. Um, Peace and blessings to you. But for all of y'all who support me, man, um, we did it. Congratulations to the Strength Squad support system. We are doing this together. We are growing together. And um, I can't do it without y'all. And I appreciate you guys. And this is just pretty much me saying, uh, I just wanted to give a positive message, man, for anybody out there who got goals, anybody out there who got a vision, anybody out there who has an idea um, of what they want to do, um, whether you want to start a YouTube channel or pick the camera back up, or whether you want to go back to school or start up a new business or whatever it is, bro. You want to, you know what I'm saying, get that hair school, you want to go back to hair school, ladies, or if you want to, you know what I'm saying, start your own gym or get that personal training certification. I'm just giving you guys ideas. Like, whatever it is that you want to do, do it. I'm just saying, whatever it is that you want to do, if there's anything holding you back, let me be an example to you guys and let it be known. You can do it. You can accomplish it. I don't care how long it's going to take. Somebody told me this a while ago when I was discouraged when it came to my studies. Fun fact, the very first time I took my personal trainer exam, um, it was a grind to get to that point. I thought I would pass, but I did not. I failed. I failed it the first time. I don't think I ever told you guys, but I failed it. And I don't mind telling you guys, but I failed it. And I was very discouraged because obtaining that certification was very important to me. And it was a good buddy at the time that I you know, told the situation to. Back then I was doing music and he was actually in my band. And he was like, um, don't be discouraged. He said, let me, let me share something with you. And I'm sharing it with you guys. I like to pass along the message. Um, he said, let me, let me tell you something. No matter what, if it's a problem that needs to be solved, it's not that you can't solve it. Even if it takes you longer to solve it, the reality is it's only a matter of time before you actually solve it. So don't be discouraged if the first time you tried you didn't solve it or you got it wrong. If the second time you tried and you didn't solve it, it doesn't mean that you're incapable of solving the problem. It doesn't mean that you're incapable of accomplishing whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and obtain. It just means you got to sit with it longer, long enough for you to get it until you actually get it. And those words really meant a lot to me because I took those words in my second attempt I got my personal training certification. And if it wasn't for that conversation, I may would have quit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I was extremely passionate about it, but I don't know. Either way, I took those words to heart. And I share it with you today for anybody out there who is um, discouraged or just reluctant or hesitant, dragging your feet. Man, go pursue those goals. Strength said it. Man, go, go tackle them goals. You know what I'm saying? You could do it. I promise you, even if you failed, if you pick the camera up and set it down, pick it back up. Start that YouTube channel again. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do it. The success that you see other people having, don't think that it's just made for them. Like you were chosen. You was put here on this earth to live that dream, to fulfill that purpose. You know what I'm saying? So don't be discouraged. Know that you are worth it. You just have to believe in it. Believe in yourself. Develop the confidence. Sit yourself down. Sit yourself in the den. Isolate yourself. I'm not saying be a square. I'm not saying don't. You know what I'm saying? Associate yourself with people. I'm just saying, do what you have to do until you figure out you. So I'm glad that I set myself down because this was a long journey 
to get to the point of knowing what I want to do, knowing who I am, God's purpose for my life, my existence. Like, it took me some time to figure it out, but I'm glad I set myself down because I probably would not be here. It's bigger than YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you guys are going to continue to see me unfolding here on the channel is going to be big. It's going to be much bigger than what you guys may know. Um, but it all starts with my heart and my passion for what it is that I do. But I definitely appreciate each and every one of you from the day one subscriber to where we are today. I appreciate y'all for believing in what it is that we do. I'm actually in the middle of training, but I could not help it. I said I got to pick the camera up and get on this camera and talk to y'all and then get back to training. Um, I know I could have did it after, but I said bump that. I'm picking up the camera and I'm talking to my people. So um, for all you guys out there who believe in me, I truly appreciate all of y'all who support the vision and support what it is that we do. Um, I can't do it without y'all, so um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always locking in and tuning in and just believing in what it is that we do, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said before, I'm never going to stop being appreciative. Like, you, you're going to hear me say I appreciate y'all a million, a billion more times every chance that I get because I sincerely see you guys as family and I really do appreciate every like, every comment, every video idea, everything, like all the love that you guys have for me, I have for y'all. And I do appreciate y'all. Just wanted to come through, man, and pull my heart out to you guys and tell y'all I sincerely appreciate y'all. So again, thank you guys for the 2K subscribers. We are going up. We are going up. I promise you guys, and I'm taking y'all with me. So we're going to continue to keep going up, and we're going to keep our feet on the ground every step of the way. We are going to stay humble throughout the process because that is the backbone, the spine is staying consistent, staying constant, and having a strong foundation that is built on what? Built on solid ground and ultimately built on purpose, all right? But anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to finish my training. As always, do what brings life to you. Now you guys are starting to get it. Hopefully you guys are getting an idea of what I mean by that. So please don't let that go over your head. Do what brings life to you. And it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. Stay focused. Stay on your grind. Stay on your purpose. You already know Strength Squad. We in the building. Tune in, lock in, plug in to the next video. One love. All right, strength.